Hey, hello there. Today's Lee coding challenge question is called the uh, ugly number two. We want to write a program to find the n's ugly number. The ugly numbers are positive integer numbers whose prime factors only includes a limited number of uh, prime factor numbers, uh, three, two, and five. So a given example is that uh, we want to find the tens uh, ugly number in the sequence. Uh, so we can just generate uh, the sequence of ugly numbers according to the problem's definition. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. So 12 is the tens one in the sequence, so we return 12. So the little note here says, well, the 1 is also a ugly number, so it's going to be the first one in the sequence of ugly numbers. Everything else is some kind of a multiplier between um, products between the uh, numbers, uh, different numbers of uh, factors we have in the set. So uh, uh, including one as well. So uh, if we look at, uh, um, if we, we think about how we are actually going to generate this by no, ourselves, we're going to take one, mul multiply one by two, three, and five, generate just three more ugly numbers, and uh, push, push that onto some kind of a temporary container, and then grab the smallest one from that container, so that will be two. We push this two onto the, uh, put the two as the second number in the sequence, after we've done that, we use 2 to be the multiplier on the left-hand side, multiplied by all the factors uh, that's going to be on the right-hand side. So we've got to have 2 multiplied by 2, 2 multiplied by 3, 2 multiplied by 5, uh, 3 more new uh, larger ugly numbers, and we push those onto the container. And then grab the smallest one from there, it's going to be 3, then just rinse and repeat this same procedure. Uh, we multiply 3 by 2, uh, multiply 3 by 3, uh, multiply 3 by 5, and adding those to the temporary container. So there is just one thing that we need to handle is that the, the duplications. Uh, when we get 2 out, uh, we multiply that by 3. The second time when we deal with 3, we multiply 3 by 2, we get, two, uh, we get 6 twice. So we want to uh, do some deduplication, otherwise we will put two, six, 2 copies of 6 onto the sequence of ugly numbers. So that's uh, already pretty clear. Uh, we need a set to do this duplication. The other thing is, uh, since that we are always grabbing the current the smallest one from the uh, temporary holder for the generated ugly numbers, uh, a priority queue is uh, a main priority queue is very good for this purpose. So that's the straightforward uh, generation, uh, you know, method to generate all those uh, ugly numbers. Uh, so let's just code this thing up. So we have now our factors, uh, 2, 3, and 5, and uh, we have a priority queue. Uh, initially, it's just a single number 1. That's the first uh, ugly number we have. Uh, we haven't pulled it out of the temporary uh, holder, holding container yet. Uh, the sequence of ugly numbers generated is going to be uh, stored in the list of nums, and we have a set that's telling us uh, the, number, uh, the ugly numbers we have already generated. So that's 1. Uh, so we're going to just run a loop for n times. And then what we do is to uh, pull the current smallest number from the priority queue. So that's uh, PQ. And then uh, push this onto the sequence. The uh, other thing we need to do is to use this as the left hand side to multiply uh, with all those factors to generate uh, a bunch of new ugly numbers and push that back to the priority queue. Uh, of course, we do some deduplication along the way. So what happens here is that uh, we generate new ugly numbers. Uh, test uh, having already generated this already or not. If it's not generated, we remember it. It's the first time we see it. And also we push this back onto the priority queue. So with that, uh, we'll be able to uh, pretty much generate uh, all the, uh, generate the required uh, uh, ugly number. So the very last number that we generated is the one that uh, we need because we run the loop n times. Uh, so this i doesn't really matter. So let's see if it works. Let's throw some more test cases. One, three, five, seven. Uh, it looks okay. So let's submit this. 
um, yeah, it's accepted. The problem with this uh, uh, simple, straightforward approach is that uh, uh, the priority queue size can be a problem because we run this loop n times. When n is large, of course, we push more stuff onto it. And uh, every iteration inside this loop, uh, we uh, multiply the number by the uh, different number of uh, factors we have. So if this is not three, but some relatively large number, uh, we can end up by generating n multiplied by k different numbers uh, and push those all onto the priority queue. So the hip pop and push become more and more expensive as the n and uh, k goes larger. So we call this k, it's this n. Um, the time for this can be log of nk, so that that would be uh, not ideal. But and also that it's uh, indicative of uh, a bigger problem. That is, we actually generate a whole bunch more uh, number than what we really necessary. Uh, what, what's really necessary? The ideal scenario is that uh, every iteration we just generate one number, one number, uh, the next number in the sequence. So how we go about do this? Um, that would be the uh, full up question, uh, which is uh, this one, um, 313, uh, super ugly number. I have a video about that, so if you want to see the detail, you can check, up, uh, check out the front there. Uh, the big idea is that uh, uh, the, the ugly numbers are actually coming from three different lines, so um, k different lines. Every line is a factor. So when we generate a number, we grab the generated, uh, the prior, current smallest uh, uh, ugly number we generated, and multiply by a on the right hand side a factor. So that multiplication can be uh, sorted or organized in uh, line of, uh, in terms of the right hand side. So we have a line for all the ugly numbers that can be generated with the factor two as the right hand side. So the the number here is basically. Uh, you know, the left side multiplier is basically the sequence of ugly numbers uh, and it's just growing uh, one at a time. Uh, the second line is the factor, uh, the ugly numbers that can be generated with the factor 3 uh, on the right hand side. And the left hand side multiplier is again the sequence of ugly numbers. So all we need to do basically is to maintain the three different head nodes inside this uh, three linked list. K linked list in, in, if more general. So all, every time that we want to grab the next uh, number, uh, we just look at uh, the smallest among K he head nodes. So uh, if we do that, uh, the priority queue will be of size K, uh, exactly K. So that's going to be fast, faster. Uh, so if we, you're interested in this solution, you can check out my video. I'm gonna put a link over there. Uh, that's the super ugly numbers. Uh, so. Yeah. So, to in order to achieve that, uh, um, you would you would really put a node object or some kind of resemblance for that node object onto the priority queue, which is uh, nothing but uh, what's the number inside the cycle here? Uh, what's the left hand side? Or where can I find the, the left hand side number? And uh, what's the right hand side number? So it will be uh, this node's value, the index for looking up uh, the four from the sequence of a uh, number and the right-hand side factor uh, multiplier. So the next time, if you want to generate the next number, you're going to do is to uh, look up uh, the next number from the sequence by, by index. So it will be 5 multiplied by 2. Uh, you, can, you can update this. Uh, so uh, the code is basically uh, grab the current smallest one among the k head nodes in the k sorted list. Uh, put that back onto the ugly number that you generated and uh, advancing those head nodes as necessary. So that's uh, the big idea behind it. Uh, so it will be faster because the uh, priority queue size does not increase too much. It's, it's constant. It's always K. So that's that. Uh, the other thing that I think I want to mention briefly is the, uh, the solution page for this. Um, it's mentioning something like a dynamic programming for, for solving this. And it may appear that uh, this can be better uh, based on the time space analysis uh, here, uh, but it's not the case. It's not. It's not really the case compared to if you use uh, if you use this solution. Um, the reason being that this is not dynamic programming. This is just the bottom-up tabulation. Uh, so it's essentially that um, 
you use a list to hold the K head nodes. And every time you want to grab the next, the smallest, you actually do a hard minimum pool uh, comparison for, for running on all the K nodes you have. So it's, uh, it, it's actually worse than, than, uh, than this priority queue solution. So um, I, I don't recommend this, and it's totally not dynamic programming. It's just tabulation. So uh, if you're interested, again, if you're interested in this kind of follow-up solution, you can check out my video on 313. So that's it. Um, but this one, I think it's okay because it leads to optimization. If you analyze the problem about the priority queue and then dig into the details about uh, how the numbers are generated in a little bit more detail, you can realize uh, all you need to keep track of are the K different head nodes. So that can lead to uh, either the tabulation where you just have a list of the head nodes and every time you do a minimum among all the K head nodes and do advancing. Uh, the other way is to uh, really use a priority queue to hold the K different head nodes. So that's it for today. Um, yeah, I'm sorry that, that I should be integrating those into the video, but I just don't have time to do that today. So yeah, I highly recommend to check out my video on 313.